20% of his body is covered in scar tissue. Second degree burns on his back and arms. X-rays show at least 12 fractures that never properly healed. The Oliver you lost might not be the one they found. After five years, everything that was once familiar is now unrecognizable. The face I see in the mirror is a stranger. Oliver, what happened to you out there? What happened to you on that island? A lot. You've been through a crucible. And it changed you. How can it not? Home is a battlefield. Back home, they're all trying to get you. Get you to open up, be somebody you're not sure you are anymore. I'm not the same person I used to be. I didn't know how painful it would be to keep my secrets. Nobody can know my secret. Maybe after five years alone, you're not as messed up in the head as you have every right to be. I think I'm just beginning to understand the kind of man you are. After five years, I have plans. I have things that I have to do. If it's not going to be the courts, then it's not going to be the cops. Then it's going to be me. If people knew, if you knew, you'd see me differently. And not as some vigilante guy. These, these were five years! Five years! Where nothing good happened. It's damaged. You are fighting a war queen. Except you have no idea what war does to you. How it scrapes off little pieces of your soul. And you need someone to remind you who you are, not this thing you're becoming. You seem really lonely. And we all have our secrets, Ollie. Clearly you have yours. I just really think you should share them with someone. You gotta let me in, Ollie. You gotta let someone in. You think the people you let in have taken your age? I think it gives you one. Maybe a stronger one. Either. I know that you think that you don't deserve to be happy, but you're wrong. Oliver, you are not alone. You are not alone. Not since you brought me into this. Us into this. And I believe in you. You can stare down death with something to live for or not. Something to live for is better. Hiding in plain sight. Concealing our anger with smiles and lies. It sounds like you have a narrow definition of being here. I'm not a hero. He's a killer. Have you killed anyone? You've killed plenty. Yes, I have. You're what I always said you were. A killer. You're a murderer. A killer. Everyone has a demon inside of them. My best friend died thinking that I was a murderer. And anyone that I kill dishonors his memory. I need to become the man he hoped I could be. You're a good man, Oliver. Stop fighting and live. Or everyone you love will die. Time to choose, Oliver. <laughs> when her body lies at your feet. Who lives and who dies? No! 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 She's dead because of me. I let you die. You fought to save me. Because that's what you do, what you have always done. You fight to survive. You honor the dead by fighting. So fight, Oliver. Fight back. Get up and fight back. And you are not done fighting. 
I am my own worst enemy. I hate to disappoint you. Not every death in this city is on you. I know I called you a murderer, but you are not. I am not leaving anyone else to die. You are a hero. Kind of makes me a hero, doesn't it? You helped me become a hero, slave. Thank you. And he couldn't be what I needed him to be. What this city needs him to be. Sierra, the man is... The man under the hood isn't important.